A number of people have asked me over the years to do a film about Starlight and Morris Ward. Now, Starlight is fascinating, and Morris Ward is even more fascinating. You might remember Starlight was demonstrated brilliantly on the BBC's Tomorrow's World programme, where it was coated on a raw egg, a blowtorch was shone on it, and then after a couple of minutes, it was cracked and the egg was still liquid. So as a heat repelling or dispelling possible product, it seemed amazing. But what exactly happened to Starlight? Well, Morris Ward, the inventor, just couldn't share it with anybody and couldn't do a financial deal with a company to turn it into a product. So it's remained this enigmatic mystery substance that's never really come to any good. And people have suggested a very obvious and life-saving use to protect the inside of cladding on buildings. And possibly if it had been adopted, it would have stopped this and saved so many lives. But here's my personal statement, my take on Starlight. I think it's brilliant, but I think it has a major flaw. And that flaw is Morris Ward. I really think he should have made it open source. Today, science is different. And I think us in the media are partially to blame. We're looking for the maverick scientist, the single name, the Einstein of science creation. Whereas today, it's not like that. A great example is if you look at CERN, where so many new stuff is emerging, it's teams of people collections of specialists who all contribute to a bigger picture, not the single inventor. Starlight might just have changed the world and become a household product and also be improved by it being open source for other inventors to look at, market, do legal stuff with, and put it in a can in your high street. But it never happened. And I think that's very sad. Let me know what you think about Morris Ward, what you remember of Starlight, and why you think it evaporated. The truth is out there.